That dance house catalog is a treasure trove of freshness for international artists is a well established fact. million dollars in a sock drawer. But what you may not be aware of is the extent to which Jamaican copyright owners I'm with the Max. Oh, this is custom made. are profiting of this trend. As old rhythms find favor with millions of new consumers around the globe. This week on our stage, a female artist who is smiling all the way to the bank. We will also premiere a brand new 90s style rhythm inspired by the new craze as producers of the era re-emerge from the shadows. The beat features some of the baddest rhythm riders of the era. Also on our show, the film Joseph talks about a young man's quest to find himself. Its lead actor is on our stage this week, but why is he migrating to Africa? Ghana, to be exact. This week's E! News, our dancehall trending countdown, and so much more are all coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be back. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. And now, stories making our e news and reviews for this week. <laughs> The Jamaica Rum Festival in just one year is now firmly placed on Jamaica's entertainment calendar. A massive success that organizers and Jamaicans alike can be proud of. When it comes to entertainment offerings in Kingston last weekend, it was definitely all about the two-day fest. Massive crowds rolled into Hope Gardens on Saturday and Sunday night for rum, food and of course epic performances from main acts like Mortimer, Indy Allen, Protégé, Bugle, Ding Dong, Spraga Benz, Kimani Marley, Coco T, Freddie McGregor, Capleton and more. And for them have me, you know, and a set up like this, then we have to give thanks. It's a good vibes, a good energy all night. I, I can't I was here last year and I saw the show when someone was performing, thought it was a good show and you know it happened that they asked me to do it this year and it was fun, I had a good time. Cocotee show is all about fun, you know. Yeah. Having fun, people come out to dance and who oh, I drink them rum, drink them rum, who oh, I smoke them weed, sip them weed and have fun, you know what I mean? People don't come to come stand up and like, you know, they want to party. I'm a person who can't try to keep myself fit and in tune at all times. I mean, when I come, I can't deliver because young people, even though they know that you are in the business for so many years, they want to see you come out and give them a good performance that they can feel good. So that's what I strive to do, you know. It was fiery, trust me. I really enjoyed, you know, being at Rumfest for the first time, 2020. You know, it's a really amazing feeling, and we just have to keep the fire blazing. You now we just keep it going. Jai's love and salvation is attainable. You know, we just put in the works, man. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, I was first asked to do a rum festival in Ocherius, and I thought about it, but said yes, because I kind of like the up close and personal atmosphere, and that one worked out perfectly well. And then I was asked to do the one on the estate and I was thinking but the estate is where they make the room so they don't have an audience and that kind of thing but I was very surprised when we went there there was a wonderful audience and that was a really nice show I somehow think that show sparked their interest in having me for this show the response was overwhelming to say the least I mean, we planned for a bigger crowd than last year, but what we've seen is unexpected. I really appreciate the fact that 
But regardless of the fact that it was raining, Jamaicans came out, some tourists too, and really supported what I think, and a lot of people think, was a phenomenal experience. The venue was packed. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people to park. And while it was great, and you know, Jamaicans, we love to feel good and we love to rock together. I, we want to make sure that everybody's comfortable and safe. So that may be something we have to think about. Not yet decided, but for this year, Hope Gardens really delivered what we had intended. <laughs> And dance all trending countdown begins now. Life of a Spartan by Tommy Lee starts off or Guinness the trending countdown this week at number 10. Coming in at number 9, a man who many say is a Tommy Lee sound alike, Ace God with One Day. Movado has the artillery at number eight. While Vibes Cartel's body language makes it to number seven. What would I do if me never have you? Ever in a farm, shine for me, my star. Jafras is jealous at number six. If you watch yourself in at them road, yeah. Them sell you out for rum, so them we sell you out for soda. Yeah. And Chronic Law is in a militant mood at number five with Well Wong. But drone wanted me live a bush like me no no. See me face to face, step one like you no know, no more. Coming but in at number four, Javelani is promoting his suede clocks. Suede clocks. Yeah, yeah. That on like Rachel's. Blank CD, me no play a dog. Number three on our countdown is the only track that made it back to the countdown from last week, Gold God with Client Convo. Okay, let me go and pull it up for you. It is showing their right here a quarter past two. While the trending youth Squash has a 17 Duppy at number two. But that rich like a leprechaun for Tagus the devil. Me got circuit and black me see. When he bum and me got a spliff in a memo. And the brand new number one this week is Massacre, who drives into the top position in an ice cream truck. Can I say me sweet like an ice cream truck, you know? Clean on me ice, them tough, you know? Full of greens and me wine and rough, you know? And that's our dance hall trending countdown for this week, brought to you by, of course, Guinness Dance Hall Cast All. All right, there you have it. This week's E News reviews and dance hall trending. Stay with us right here on stage. Still to come, the premiere of a 90s style rhythm. But before that, a female artist that is profiting from the widespread sampling of that era's music by the mainstream. Also in our show this week, the Jamaican actor who is doing in real life what he played in the movie by migrating to Ghana. Can you believe it? All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. The movie is called Joseph, a story of a young man's quest to find himself. My guest in this segment of our show is the movie's leading man. But why is he migrating to Ghana? <laughs> Kimboy Burton is laughing. He's on our stage right now to tell us. Listen. Sir, Listen. welcome, welcome, welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And before we jump in, though, into answering the question, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, sort of sum up your success for us, your, your roles in, in films. Uh, well, I mean, it started when I was in high school, when I was going to Arden. Um, I got a role in a movie, Get A Life. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, what, 10 years ago? Yes. And from Get A Life, the rest was history. I mean, I got Destiny after that. Um, I got a very small bit in a Hollywood movie. I can't say nothing yet because I don't know if they're going to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, I've done Joseph. I've also done some TV. I've done Real Friends. Mm -hmm. I've also hosted TV. 
Um, I did Kingston House. I've done um, animation, The Boy Who Learned to Fly. That was Usain Bolt's okay. animation for Gatorade. I, I, I was Usain Bolt in that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So your role in this one mm -hmm. was inspired by your, your previous roles. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. body of work. This. Yes. The lady who wrote the film. She wrote the film with me in mind because she saw Get Alive 10 years ago. Yes. And she liked me as an actor since. And she wanted to fit me in some sort of film or anything that she was writing and would, you know, cross over with Jamaica or anything like that. And so I, she wrote it. And who is she? It's a woman. Her name is Marcia Weeks. Mm -hmm. um, she lives in Barbados, but she's from Jamaica here. She's, she's from Central Village, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where is the movie now? Well, the movie is in the U.S. now. Um, it's in Africa still. It's in Ghana, Nigeria. Yeah. Um, we're opening in Jamaica on the 11th of March. So you can look out for that. Um, and they're trying to open in other Caribbean countries. So how is it doing? It's doing very well, actually. Um, mm -hmm. People from this side especially, people from this side especially, they really love it because they can relate to it. Um, the people in Africa, I mean, it's doing, it's doing okay in Africa, but people in Africa don't necessarily relate to slavery and, and, and mm -hmm. they don't relate to that. So, you know, so I mean, it's still doing well. It's still doing numbers. Okay. But I mean, it could, it's not doing as well as it could have. All right. So, yeah. so sum up the story for us. Joseph is a, is a doctor. He's from a family of doctors. Mm -hmm. um, they have a medical practice. They have a practice for themselves, private practice. And... Um, his grandfather was a maroon and a herbal healer. Okay. And so he spoke to Joseph about herbal healing when he was a child and told him to always um, practice these things, um, use herbs, use bushes. Um, she should visit Ghana. He should, you know, see yeah. the maroon tribe. And he met a Ghanaian friend in Jamaica who also told him to go to Ghana. And his Ghanaian friend died. Okay. Right? And so he decided, you know what, I'm just going to fulfill this destiny. And go to Ghana, practice my herbal healing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story yeah, yeah, in yeah. the movie. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so can we take a little, the trailer of the, of the movie? Yeah, yeah, right here. Sure. Let's go. Here's the six years of torture, Ooh. and finally, freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph, Joseph, you've done all you could. Deal with it. Joseph, promise me you will go. A lot of the things I've read about Africa freaks me out. <laughs> and, uh, I keep telling you, you're reading the wrong books. <laughs> There's some things that are just non-negotiable. And that's the use of bush medicine in my hospital. Never gonna happen. That's what Grandad made his living from in a compound. And we know he was a master at this. You bring any bush in the hospital? There is enough, enough. No, we are a family of professional doctors. Let's all learn. Everyone walks through these doors. They're expecting a miracle. Preserving the family legacy is also your responsibility. You are descendant of Nani, many mighty warriors. Grandad was saying that it was- Grandad, Grandad, every time you open your mouth, his name come out of it. You know what I had to endure under that man's hands? So because of that, you're going to stop me from living the life that I want to live? Hell no! I'm done with pleasing you and everybody else. I hate you! What are you looking at? You should stay away from me. I'm poison, Joseph. Is that gang just smoking Rasta girl, right? Look, Mom, even if it is, it's still my decision. How do you know my name? Where do you see my son? You're like a candle that cannot be hidden under a bushel. Where are you going? To look for my son. I beg you, I beg you. No, 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 piss out. I'm on a journey to reconnect with my ancestry. Many more will find their way home. May the souls of my two heroes rest in peace. Ah! I'll be there in Ghana with you. Yeah? <laughs> That's not how we talk. I keep That's how you talk. <laughs> ah, there you have it. Joseph. Wow, can't wait to see it. And I'm sure our Jamaica will be excited about watching this movie somehow. I feel that way. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How much does it relate to your own life, though? Your life. Your own life here in Jamaica, huh? Um, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've, had, I've had parental restrictions before. 
um, when I was living with my parents. My parents are staunch Christians. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you live in a house of Christians, then, you know, you have to do what the law says. Zane, and I mean, I think I was, I was equally as rebellious because I, one, I did acting, which yes. took me out of the house on Sabbath. Zane, so my father never liked say, me have to go act on, on Saturday when I church day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, I, I had to follow a dream and I followed the dream. And now I'm following the dream even more in, in, in Africa. <sighs> wow. <laughs> you see? Well, are we going back home someday? <laughs> so, okay, we're connected with your migration. Now, so. Please. Yes. Yes, my migration now is um, when I went to Africa last year, July, mm -hmm. um, the very first thing I realized was that Africa is not what it is, not what it is sold to us as. Yes. Over here, right? Africa is rich and it's, and it's limitless. I saw that it was limitless. And I decided, you know what? Um, I mean, I came in July, I, I, you know, they, they, I was a lead for a movie, so they treated me well, you know, chauffeur driven, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, I want to go back, see if, you know, a day-to-day -day life would make sense. Yes. And I went back and a day-to-day -day life did make sense. In and, Ghana? Yeah, yeah, in Ghana. And I decided, you know what, why not just go? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So first of all, you play this, the, the role of someone who's told to flying back them roots yeah, 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 in yeah. Ghana. Yeah. yeah. So the character now is, is you. Yeah. Is it, you doing what the character did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. your real life. In real life. In real life. In wow. Real life. Yeah, man. Ghana is at a stage you now where it's developing. Uh -huh. And so if I get in even early now, the possibilities are endless. So it seems like you you fitted in well in, yeah. in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel people like think, you're at home? Yeah, yeah. People think I'm Ghanaian. I went to Nigeria and people asked me if I'm from Ghana. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. And you feel that way? You feel, feel at home? Like, yes, I do feel at home. I do feel at home. The people look like me. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty much like Jamaica, but it's yes. like it has little to no crime. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. But it's, it's, wow, this is, this is amazing, my yeah. friend. This is amazing. <laughs> Yeah. But listen, um, t talk to me about, you, you know, um, what, what are you leaving behind? Family and... Yeah, and, um, and so on. you know, I, I think about those things because um, I have two kids and mm -hmm. two boys. Um, I have family here. All of my family is here. I don't have no family in, in Ghana, pretty much. Yes. So um, when I really think about it, it's just, it's just thinking about future rather than present because I mean in in future years we can be reunited I mean it's not like families don't migrate to America or yes. migrate to England yeah, or course. wherever it is is in but I'm just moving to Africa is mm -hmm. in so um when I look at it I mean I, obviously I'll send for my kids in a few more years but I mean my family will, will live <laughs> so, so what will occupy you initially when you go what, what will you be doing in terms of work Acting? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to pursue acting. I've actually um, been contacted about films already. Um, I, I met a Jamaican there, Zane yes. Raphael. He's married to a Ghanaian woman. He left years ago from Jamaica. He decided he wasn't coming back. Um, and they own a Jamaican restaurant. So they're, they're offering me something to sustain me while I'm in Ghana. Oh, right. yeah. oh. Oh, look again, one again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, you know, it's, know. it's amazing. I love this. I love this, Kevoy. This, yeah. this is really a good, a good story. Yeah, man. Yeah. And we'll, we, wanna, we want you to keep us updated. Yeah, man, for with, sure. With progress. For sure, for sure. For sure so sure. we are going to now trace your real <laughs> story, sir, because this is amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it's, and, you know, it, it's, it, it, one gets a feeling that... Mm -hmm. Jam more Jamaicans are interested in yeah, yeah, yeah. where they came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in making that journey and, that, and making that connection. Mm -hmm. We just a puppy down there the other day in tears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It's real, it's, it's real. It's really a, a big thing and, and mm -hmm. it's, a, it's awakening, you know. It's, mm -hmm. um, I think we in the, in the West are, are, are now Reco understanding yeah. that we need to... Yeah, well, we are socialized against Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we owe it to ourselves to visit, to you see for I mean? ourselves. And, and it's great that that is now changing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. We at least need to see for ourselves before we can say. Kev, well, yeah. good to hear, sir. Blessings. When we come down there, we come look for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.
Kevoy right here on our stage. Stay with us, still to come. I'm still in love. The female artist who is profiting from widespread sampling of her music. And later, still first, still first, still clean. The premiere of a dancehall rhythm, a 90s style dancehall rhythm, featuring some of the baddest rhythm riders of that era. Right here on our stage, live. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. As mentioned in our opening, dancehall being a treasure trove of freshness for international mainstream artists Stuff a million dollars in a sock is a well-established fact. But what you may not be aware of is the extent to which Jamaican copyright owners are profiting off this trend as old rhythms find favor with millions of new consumers around the globe. In 2003, Sasha got her all-important breakout with this track. But little did Sasha know that the Tony Kelly classic would help her to her biggest payday. Sasha who is now a gospel artist, is on our stage right now to talk about that and more. Sash, good to see you, good to see you, welcome. So it's been years. <laughs> been a while, yes. How is yes. the gospel treating you? Awesome, awesome. Yeah? The other side of the river. Okay. As well, yeah. So you're ministering, uh -huh. you have your own ministry? Because that's yes. what artists say, they are Absolutely. Ministry. So you, you're yeah, definitely. I have my own ministry. You're ministering in music. Um, so, so you're still very active as an artist. Definitely, though. definitely. Still traveling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, still. I don't even want to refer to it as shows, but ministering. You know, all over. Um, over the past three years or so, I've been to so many places like the Middle East, and you know, oh, <laughs> oh my God, you don't want to know about that. <laughs> yeah, but God has been good. Yeah, Christian God has been good. Oh gospel. yes, can I tell you in Dubai? Yeah. Dubai um, and so on, yeah. Still, I was very cautious, you know, because um, you know how they are when it comes to Christianity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a no-no, you know, but you have to be brave, you know, and, and stand up for what you believe in, you know. So I went out there, did my thing. Of course, as soon as the show was over, straight back to my hotel room. <laughs> Lock up, security, everything. Yeah, but it's, 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 you know. Remind us of how and when you transitioned to Christendom. Well, I mean, I actually got saved at a tender age, you know, and strayed, not really understanding what I was really getting into, just going to church because your family go to church. But where it really, really, um, the real transition took place about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I remember visiting a church in Ocho Rios, and, um, you know, despite the fact that I was out there as an, a secular artist, I always go to church, even if it's in the back bench under a big hat, worshiping you know okay. yeah and you know one day I just heard the message being sent out and I just felt like that was my message it was my time and not only that just knowing that I was at a crossroad where I just realized that you know I mean you've been there you've done that you know and you really realize that money don't really make you happy fame none of that don't really make you happy you know and so I just decided to just just give up and, and let God in my life the right way. And I just, you know, from there, I just decided to just, you know, get on this new journey. All right, and we are saying that your single, Sexy Body, brought your biggest payday. I mean, you know, I did that song, that Sexy Body on the bookshelf for them many years ago. I never imagined after all these years, I would still have a, you know, a big payday and, and, and things just been so good. Um, 
you know, Winford, I'm telling you, talking about what's going on with the music industry is so important for you to educate yourself and to understand, you know, um, certain things when it comes to the music. It's not just about performing and, you know, going on stage, making money or whatever. You have to get that information. You have to know because, listen, at this age now, I can't compete with those young girls now and what they're doing. But my work that I did before, you know, right now, it's, it's a big payday for me, you know, signing up with the right type of societies like ASCAP, uh, uh, PPL, Sound Exchange, you know, listen, oh. get yourself educated. The artist that did over That Sexy Body, JLo, JLo and Pitbull did it. Um, Gabrielle and Jeremiah, another uh, pop artist called Zara Larson. Can I tell you? Listen, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm yeah. smiling, and I and I feel blessed. So it's your lyrics. They yes, use your my lyrics. lyrics. Absolutely, my lyrics. Sang over. They added some of their own, but it doesn't matter. Once they copy anything from you, yes, you you know it, it's it's a payday. It's a payday. And it's a nice one. Nice one. A That's beautiful one. A beautiful one. <laughs> An awesome one. <laughs> uh, well, you know, there you go. So we just need to 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 ring that out. You know, yes. Because when we talk about. Mm -hmm. Making music that right. is timeless. Absolutely. And to be serious as you're, you're pointing, yeah. we just want them to understand that all the, the work that you had done before, yes. this is when you really are paid. Definitely. Because and, somebody, yeah. somebody used your, your work, your work, your publishing, Yes, is what will pay you best. And you know what? I'm glad that you, you came out with the word publishing. It's, it's such an important thing. Um, in the initial state of me getting into the industry, I was very young at the time, and um, I didn't really understand it. And so I had signed some contracts and, and signed away uh, half of my publishing at one point. Oh. And, um, and I really didn't understand because, you know, you're young and you're thinking, okay, yeah, you know, you, you're in the music business, you're going to have records out, records you're going to do shows, and you're, and you're all happy about all that. Um, but honestly, can I tell you, it... It, it really, it took a toll on me at one point. Mm. Um, now that I understand okay. what publishing is all about. Publishing is your bank. Publishing is where all the treasures, yeah, your, your pension, all the diamonds and the gold and, and everything. That's where, the, that's where it is in your writing. Because a lot of times, as an artist, sometimes you, you might write something and, you, and it might not, as Jamaicans would say, boss. You know, mm -hmm. it might not be so whatever, but the fact that you wrote this song, we have to understand that you have international artists that surf the internet every day looking for something to sing over, a new flavor, a new style, yeah. you know? And um, the, the mere fact that you wrote something and you put something out, it's all, let me tell you, all the viewers, no matter what you do, sing your song, record it, Put it up on YouTube. Put it out there. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't shelf it. Because you never know who is going to find that, decide that they like the lyrics, and they decide to just sing it over. Mm -hmm. that, that's your payday. You know what I'm saying? That, that's your payday. Sometimes you don't make it as a big artist, you know? Um, and then you think that, okay, you know, all is lost and nothing's going on. Don't ever think that way. 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, 30 years down the line, something great could happen for you. They could take up your song, put it in a commercial. They could put it in a movie. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, music business is, is let me tell you, all the ghetto youth them out there with the killing and the crime, we are going, listen, put, put pen to paper, write some lyrics, get your work registered, you know what I'm saying? And it can open a lot of doors for you. Absolutely, absolutely. 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 Yeah. All right, talk a little bit about family. We know you're Family, married. Family, yes. What else you can tell us? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I just want to bless up my husband, Anthony. Yes. Yes, um, yeah. Um, and I have my children. I have three children. They're big um, on their own. So now I'm just living my life. Me and my husband, we just enjoying life. You life know, is good. Worshiping God. Of course, we are blessed and highly favored. And, and we just, you know, we're living. We're living and enjoying life. And Still, I'm, right now I'm working on my album, and my husband actually play a lot of role in that. You know, he's managing me now, mm -hmm. and uh, we write together, we vibe together, and you know, God is good. I'm happy. I'm happy. God is good. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sasha, for coming and sharing with us right yes. here on our stage, and uh, <laughs> oh, we want to hear more good story. Good yeah, man, news. look out for my new album, Bumpy Ride. Okay. You know, and All right. videos coming out. There you have her. Out.
Yes, Bye, bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> so look out for it. The bumpy ride she calls that one. <laughs> and it's in Christ, okay? All right. <laughs> Stay with us right here on stage. We're still exploring the catalog of dancehall in particular right here on our stage. So, and we'll be featuring a rhythm, mm -hmm. and a 90s style rhythm with a lot of big names on it, right here on our stage live. Next. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed, on stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere. Always. As promised, we will be premiering a brand new 90s style rhythm. Its producer is the famed but very elusive Q45. As producers of the era re-emerged from the shadows. But before we let the rhythm loose, so to speak, a chat with three of the big names on it. Wayne Wonder, Bugle, and Suku from War 21. Right now, right here on our stage. Gentlemen, welcome. Blessings. Yes, Bugle. Thanks. Wayne, Suku, sir. Bugle. Bless you, man. Welcome. All right, so do we, do we have an agreement that there's a resurgence of dancehall as we know it, as the organic dance or sound? Um, I wouldn't say it's, an, it's a resurgence. Mm -hmm. Based on the mere facts, the dance are always did it, but yes. it just don't get the highlight. Yes. Like, like what a new dance are getting. But you always have you like Suku, who always had a production. Me, Vice Man, who only put dance already mm -hmm. on a daily basis. But them just now nah, get the run. So where the resurgence is concerned, it would have to be in, in, in the, the dance are getting back play again yes like that's before. Th that's what i'm saying it is now being consumed again by young people they're hearing more and especially the international mm -hmm. scene that's where it's actually breaking it's like it really now is breaking is isn't that the, yeah, the consensus every, everyone basically taking a piece of the dance component yes. incorporate it in their stuff you know and put it back out. So 90s dance hall have a big influence where that is concerned. Right, this is why we said at the top of this, it is a, a treasure trove Definitely. Of, of, of freshness for mm. international artists looking for something to spice up for them thing. Definitely. Saying, and, and so we see all these big names coming in and taking a piece of it at a time when we're trying, but we're in another that, experiment. that's something that they're always doing though. Yes. The man always are doing. Isn't there... No, an explosion of More. that? <laughs> well, well, yeah. yeah you, yes. could, you could say that, but it never stopped. It never stopped. We're another man, the whole of them are always in a dance hall. And I'm always in the 90s dance hall, because we all know 90s dance hall cannot be surpassed. Yes. I, I mean, more than for see. I'm mean, not sure I'm going to see. Well, I think it's the, de um, the defining era of the music. It's it when is. dance hall was properly defined as a genre, the 90s. And that's where they're going most of the time to, to borrow something. Always. So Suku, we're also saying that there are people are profiting, producers, the quiet guys, the people you don't know them face, but you, you only hear the name now and then the record, or we hear about them, that they're profiting from this because they, they are always in the mix when the sampling takes place, right? Yeah, because, um, but you you will profit only if your publishing set up the right way uh -huh. and whoever have your publishing have your interest at hand you see me yes but if you if you don't do that that will eat your supper well so, everybody will eat your supper so how widespread is, is it though that people's publishing is not properly registered and they own their publishing but also enough i used to go on in the past you know, like most of the, most people from back in the past, them currently sort out them thing. Yes. Like the, the new youth them now, I'm not sure about them. You always have, you always have a case where I'm a link a youth, a youth make a big game, mm -hmm. and um, song blow up, then you hear money issues because okay. them, not do, them never do the part either. Wow. That's why most man, most man wouldn't really probably link me 
to make a beat for him. Depends okay. on where, where he meets there. Because he knows he can't run with me that, that way there. So he just link a equal youth where he uses and, and the next thing is like, thing and, people want to work with you, is how they approach it and what you sign and what you agree to. Yeah. A lot of artists and a lot of producers agree to work for hire. So mm -hmm. when, you, when you work for work for hire, you just get maybe like that upfront well, advance right there. Or you so get the song promise. blow up. You don't have anything because you sign work for hire, so you don't have no more. Yeah, so you're hired to do yeah, a job so and you're paid, you, so and you're paid off. It's all, all about how you some set up, structure your thing. Some man use word of mouth and pay you off too. <laughs> yes. Like those high people say, yo, yeah, man, Ray, and... Word of mouth will pay you off. Yeah, word of mouth. <laughs> but it, it never pays you off, though. It not pay, you no, cannot be paid off time. in intellectual property. It has to be in writing. No, them just can't. So whatever you might have said to a man, you know, it, is, yeah, it, yeah. Can, it cannot stand in a, lo yeah, in, in a court of law. The, the little man, he's not going to know that till long after. Yeah, but it don't matter when he knows it either. His intellectual property is his until he writes it over to somebody else. Yeah. But why from now, I've not to prove that in... Well, yeah. that's it. That's, that's the, the issue now. Yeah, not no, being to, able to no, prove... No, we have to know you, you have people get can out of that thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like... Can him out of his... Him get can Out like, of the search and the proof. No way he can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> yes. Can't fix. No way. Cannot can't prove fix. it. Because see, the thing is that we pay for something there. If, if, if you make a rhythm for me, and me decide to say, all right, me know the, the, the levels of things to go for, for, for get it within my, the right. Mm -hmm. You know what I say, all right, that paperwork, yeah, it's sign off. So you can't tell me, say, whatever, can we have this on paper? Yes. So he said that's something there, or oh, wicked something. A lot of artists you know don't, I mean? don't speak, if I call it in legal terms, legalese. So yes. you get this contract with all these legalese languages, you know? As an He's artist, you know? You have a but you, you all are aware of... of somebody of, professional of, to look at it. Of two ways you can do it. You can, you can send something to yourself. Back in the old days, you know? And you post it back to yourself. Post it back to yourself. And mm -hmm. once that poster stamp is on it, and which is also dated when this was done, anyone who comes after that to prove, to say that this work belonged to them will have mm -hmm. to be... It predate that. So in other words, they would have had to prove now that they had it before you. But no, you don't have to do that. You yeah. just go so and email it to yourself. E email it to yourself. That's what I'm saying. You just drop and it. now you can go audio visually. Yeah, definitely. You can take a shot of you yes, and, yes. and post it up some, yeah. somewhere and let it be there in yeah. some cloud or something. And according to some of my rich research along the way to Wilford, it's like um, back in the days, like. Artists, when an artist like sign for advance, like a producer would just give them the, just what I'm signed for. Yes. And then put all the rest of particulars them. So you basically sign with everything. So you, but you don't know. Yeah, so you just do one advance. paper. Yeah. Oh. You know, so yeah. that was like a, you know, early part of that. Isn't it because of the eagerness on the part of some artists to bugle, to be stars, to boss? and not necessarily looking down the road. That if and when them boss, they should be secured uh, as far as their intellectual properties are concerned. I, th I think it's just education, though. Just know the youth. Yeah, you know, yeah, you just need to know, you know? You just need information, really. And the man with the information now, no, they really beat the youth them because they want to own everything for themselves. Yes. You understand? So as a youth now to get to know, you know, you all try to get a run and you all try for so long and then finally you meet a youth like Sukwa and him, him voice a bad song with you. You do even think about the legal part of it, you just know that so you have a bus now. Record. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I know that so you have a bus yeah. and you have a hat and you have to mm -hmm. make some money. Yeah. You do even pre that and Sukwa, if Sukwa not have that good art, you know, say, all right, I could deal with this. In sure. a black and white. Fear, and sure. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Then him cheat you out of it. And by the time you learn that now, Suku yeah. gone with everything. Yeah. <laughs> Suku had spend the time to a broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never so even there yeah, when the money I does. Education. Are you, are you a Winfred? <laughs> yes. Me can't test that because my early stages are at Bada Bada Belly as all of them really know me, man. <laughs> me not not now for now, yeah. Just oh, like me write wow. millions and me answer. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get two grand. Me understand everything what you say. As as <laughs> Bugle say, as Bugle say, the only oh thing no. is Oh no, now I'm gonna tell yeah. you I have to find it out here, sir, because when I when I just started out, I started like um all the businesses set up at the time. Enough money I cover. See? Mm. But when me get my opportunity to start fly out now, I realize it's like 
I can't carry a foreign song and go back a foreign. I can't carry a foreign song and go back a foreign. Mm -hmm. I have to start so, come original now and start creating. So that's when I just say, yo, I did so it there now. Yes. You know, I'm going Original England, work. Um, yeah. Original work. And realize, oh, but you, this. But you've, had, this, you've been sampled. At this, yeah. When, many talk many about times, your sampling. Many times. Many times. Yeah, Tell us about some of that. time I clear now, let it go. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, but uh, as I say, if you don't set the thing proper, you know, you're not going to really see the, the benefits. Yeah. We want to hear more of the good news, you know, because we, we know about the, the man when I get them due respect and the yeah, due yeah. royalties and thing. But I don't think we hear about the good news stories like you. Yeah, You're yeah. well registered. Sasha is good. I have to pick up Shaggy because um, when I yeah. work on Bombastic album, it's like the first check Shaggy them give me, me I say, yo, this is real. You know, so it made me start taking it more serious and say, yo, you need okay. to lock up your stuff on. And deal right, so I have to give thanks to Shaggy, you know, for guiding me that way. So the real money is in publishing. Definitely, yeah, man. when you publishing create a stuff, man. Thing. When you create so a stuff, you think, can't stay, so you know. So why you think a man will can you all die? <laughs> yeah. A man because will kill you, you know. So being stars and girls and hot cars and a joke. fame, <laughs> a joke. Yeah, because that, that, <laughs> that are 15 minutes of it. 15 and, minutes. And it's not hard for the need, you know, because me set up my publishing like, me stay at Jamaica and do my thing via the internet, like, whole heap of years ago. Okay. You are moving the ball now to a better place where you're registering. Isn't that what you're saying? That you are, where yeah, you is... Know, you know what to do. Okay, you, okay, yeah. you get burned enough yeah. now and you learn the hard way. Burn up. Say, so, <laughs> burn up. <laughs> I have stories where I go to just start traveling and fly to these foreign countries and say, my song have different writer name on it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I may have to fly and come back and start learning and say, yo, if you're not firm in this man, you will get, you know, you will get roll over, man. You All have to right. make them know. The government of Jamaica should step forward and participate more in this. Because your children, children, children will benefit. Right. So it's benefit. wealth for Jamaica. It is, it is owning our intellectual property. So I know the government is, is aware of it and they're doing things, but they need to expedite it because now... There's an explosion of sampling going on in reggae dance or catalog. And I mean, they must come in now and start to educate artists, producers, start to call the damn seminar them and make people come. We, we know about the absentees and people don't show up, but you still have to try government because it's in our interest as a country. It's our wealth. Not to mention the other side of it, yeah. the glory that it yeah, brings yeah. back to Jamaica. Amazing. Man. Okay, and so many people wanting to come to this reggae dance hall mecca. Just to be here. But Boss calm down, Winford. Calm down. <laughs> All right. So we have a reading. We have a drop now, Regging. And we're going to have, have you gentlemen live on it with others. Yeah. Uh, as we say, it was produced by the Q. And he's coming back. And we see Dave Kelly stepping out to Antigua. So the, the 90s man, I mean, in particular, step out back. Is that what's going on? I mean, if you, if, if, if you want a certain essence, I, you have to, with, with, with every genre of music, I say reggae. You have certain man where stand out in a reggae. Yes. But if you want a song, particular song, if you check them. So me have my song. Yeah. Dave yeah. have him Sly song. Them. Ah. I have him song. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just Still imagine, just imagine the whole, the the whole genre of music was built off Jamaican yeah. music. Yeah. Which is Sly, Sly and Robbie, reggaeton. Yeah. You know, Murder, She Wrote. Mm -hmm. That's reggaeton. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. imagine a whole genre of music was created from Jamaican music. Yes. Okay, that, that. Inspired an entire genre and, exactly. and, and, and inspired um, Afrobeat to a large extent too. Yeah. Though if we really yeah, look no, at it, everything comes out of Africa. <laughs> but but, but there's some the level of inspiration. Dance and inspire hip-hop. The drums are Hip-hop, yeah. of course. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm not joking this. So it's just um, and it, where I call it now. And the youth, yeah. them can't do it on the, the moon. They need the support of government. Education, education cost. They need to go to seminars and things, and we find ways to get them to listen and to learn and to continue to create. Because yeah. you create now, don't mean you get rich now. You may get rich 50 years from now. Is it true? Well, Bridging, it's an eye opener for me. What's going on now? I'm happy and sad because more money should be coming our way to I want to artists. Said the whole of the money out there, the atmosphere float on. The float, yes. The good thing <laughs> yeah, is, though, yeah. in copyright, you can claim it so, so long as you can prove it. And you could, you, you could spend the rest of your life trying to prove it. But it's hard though, but... You have most men dead and, and still nothing there, and that are still dead there. Yes. And them youth, them dead there, we yes. can't get it, but them don't know nothing. Ah. Yeah, so them, they never have a clue to it. But, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's still good to know that all is not lost. Mm. That you still, if you can prove it, all progress. you have to do is that is yours. Money. You did it first. No progress. The argument so. done. Yeah. Money pay over to you. Yeah. Gentlemen, so I'm going to clear the stage then yeah, uh, sure. and then go and get you on the rhythm. Okay? Oh, 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 oh. After the break. Find the rhythm right here on stage. <laughs> Look into my eyes, tell me what you see. Can you feel my pain? Am I your energy? Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Boss Box Rhythm! On stage, still fresh, still fresh, still clean. We bring the energy when we touch when the sea. Bring the queens and leave the machine. The sun of battle feel. Still fresh, still fresh, still clean. I'll be a fine, we bring up when we touch when the sea. Bring the queens and leave the machine. The sun of battle feel. I don't do it, some girl, I don't do it. You take the one I know she wrote no color. I don't do it, some girl, I don't do it. And stay as good as the other. When you want to take a girl, man, now it's sweet, your dog. Worse when you want give you the money. Don't have no pity, no dead if you say mommy. Don't any time him see you him happy. When you want to take a girl, man, now it's sweet, your dog. Worse when you want give you the money. Don't have no pity, no dead if you say mommy. Don't any time him see you him happy. Look into my eyes, tell me what you see. Can you feel my pain? Am I your enemy? Give us a better way. Things are really bad. Things are really bad. Things are really bad. Every man a looking car, everybody broke. Not all line full, everybody a try luck. Some may have a trade, but can't get no work from me. A little boy trying to look at me. That the home full of security guard, but can't buy a shot. Three little juveniles, school fee enough. To the run smooth, but the day is still rough. Cause a little food run. But it's a fish here up A money fee come in and they go pick it up But the Western Union door just From me you see them don't eat Still not see no food at the shop Keep I say I got a load to the store Look into my eyes, tell me what you see Can you feel my pain? Am I your enemy? Give us a better way Things are really bad, things are really bad Put up the back in them, put up the tech, the money Nine, enough to let them out, you will fuck and read them Shine, don't put it in, don't put it in, that's how them say silly Time, them no rain, no youth, and them up in them Try, must disagree when you chat in a life But if you hear that this is a baby, get a push a knife No people mix green with look a hype But some of the clip that in the house but no push a wife uh, Unity and not too much to react to uh. No the abuse, how the killing and the torture We want a better life for we son and we daughter I device, I device, it's me a talker yeah. Unity and not too much to we are to Now the abuse, how the killing and the tata We want a better life for we son and we tata We attack, we attack hey, 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 hey. Never can stop so go on Never can stop so go on Don't see bad minded people I go. Them come up, 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 Alright, big man, silly girl in a school uniform. Why are you not the mood of war? A amber, a amber, a amber alert. A amber, a amber, a amber alert. Alright, when me attack them, you put me on mute. Why from a petty file, just the little youth? A amber, a amber, a amber alert. A amber, a amber, a amber alert. Yeah. We don't care who them want, baby, sign up. What them want, yeah, man, where them are resign up. Hey, the pitney where you touch, you can't hide. Your judgment set, organized. You go get serious. You touch him, daughter, I rim, son, them. 
fire with sparks and lightning bun. I fun when you see the kids and running up and down. You, you, you see the pervert them. And when you see me and my friends, them roll out anything goes. The walls we like, so anything goes. Crispy here and I, when me jump on my bike, everything alright, so I And when me take on the street, me say anything goes. Girls, in the gym, so anything. And I'm sack full of cash and so go them shop. When we take the on the black so tower. Kick out your foot, you know, man, mascot, girl. But all it out, no man, no kick you, no, you go, girl. Ready, you ready, and I at your heart. All the girls, girl, them. A girl, man, I run your dog, you just snatch him. Rest him for a long time, you need to watch him. I see I eat up, you're not afraid to detach him. Show you look good, you know, you're easy fit. And when we are taking up, my girl, we don't stick. Even with my little shorty by my side, not long time I'm gonna Burn up and bump watches. I say you better not move. And say to the priest, I will fret no friend to pop up and hey, both you a ball, a big man fees. We know fun for a fool like this. So you wanna take my life? So you wanna hurt my wife? You just say wolf in disguise. You make me think. That one you need blood. Pull up most this week and pop up like. Cardiac arrest and the arrest to you And rapidly with you some passive yes I tell her The man them with them one a gun that bust it up Just them ride and keep them coming Keep them coming, coming, coming Oh na na no na Walk them good and keep them coming Keep them coming Come in, come in. Listen to this. On stage party, yeah. Uh, everything turn up loud. Everybody we say we are so we make them proud. Fresh like water, no grass, me no green. Lot of prince and princess, kings and queens. Oh yeah, yeah, me say we turn it up loud. Everybody we watch, we we make them proud. Fresh like water, no grass, me no green. Lot of prince and the princess, you give me the answer, set a girl. No one no flap a set a girl. The top a set a girl. No one no drop a set a girl. No one like pepper girl. You soon no make a girl. How we go take a girl? No show you. All right. If you no clean, you no make no sense. No straight and this a different. Hold it as a soldier, you not need it. So you be trusted. Every gully, every chain, zipping like a resident. Me keep it real, so them treat me like the president. Different. So me move different style and me move different. But my them a gang up, so me plan up how me move different. The street rough. Me praise them in a low. Lose a friend, give them some blessing. I lose a them, but uh, I just listen to the story about life. Everybody that live will show you die. A lot of people ask the questions why, why, why? Some people wanna go for so much more before they really learn about life. Or the subject is not to be ignored. Sing a condition. What a controversy. Sir, the boy get pussy. See ya. Shibli wadli dudli shibli dudli 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 shibli wadli dudli shibli 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 dudli dudli shibli we you know me not too much for we answer And we have views how they kill it and live down Ready, 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 I'm the girl them two feet make them move them waistline and them spine in a time Matter over man, mind over man, the fast is scatter when me shot Me go so right, have a new style and it rule everything Sometimes me DJ, sometimes me rap Want a fat girl come sit down in a me chair If I that club, I not go inside I feel fine a girl for give me the wickedness But not for you for not guy way Watch how we sang in a circle. 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 Me see the whole of them a pray from behind the enemy lines. Them a try to take me tray. Missy, Bobby, Bobby. Say they, anything or anything. Look into my eyes. 
Tell me what you see, can you feel my pain? Am I your enemy? Give us a better way. Things are really bad. Come Be on. only friend I know. Hold on. Everything me say, you say CVM. Everything me say, you say. Everything. 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 Everything me say. Listen, I'm still. Hold on, man. Come on, man. Forward. Everything me say, you say, I'm still. Everything me say, what you say? I'm still. When you just interview, go on. I'm still. Who turn the youth to me the star? I'm still. Who run the island? I'm still. When the fast is New Zealand. So, I'm still. I'm still. We ain't the one that chicken tell with it, but I'm still. I'm still. I'm still. Zuko and Bugo with it, but I'm still. So, I'm not the universe, you know. Verse girl, the girl, I never need you the verse. I never need you the verse. You are the You are the You are the the if you go find your neck. You know your body fit and you in care Every woman and you are she sit down and a friend. She are. It's called Three 
little juvenile school fee enough mm. Do they run smooth but the day is still rough Cause a little four run but it has been here rough A money fee for me and the girl pick it up But the Western Union no just From yesterday we don't eat still not see no food And the shopkeeper say you got a load she just go there Look into my eyes, tell me what you see Can you feel my pain? Am I your enemy? Give us a better way Things are really bad, things are really bad Really, really bad <laughs> All right, let me let me run up here, so jig Yeah, Yo, we're there, I'm on so I can't tell you, I'm reading here. One of the baddest we call no. Right, and that's... Yeah, man, the thing lies. <laughs> you know, they, they've been there giving us the music. Nas and Jig, Jigs in the back. All right, so there you have it. The Boss Box Rhythm right here on our stage. Performed by some of the biggest names on it. There they are. All right, so that's our show for this week. Winfred Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. All right, thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage always.